Hi, I'm Tuxfu. Welcome to my series on taking back control of your computing, your freedom and privacy on the internet and in computing in general. So today we'll be having a look at secure open source instant messaging chat and communication software. We'll be having a look at five of them. So we'll be having a look at Riot, Jitsi, Mumble, Signal, and Nextcloud Chat. So, and because these are all open source, you don't need to put your ha your trust in the hands of companies like Facebook or Google. So let's dive in and start having a look at these great tools. So first, let's take a look at Riot. Now this is Riot here. Now Riot is a uh, open source instant messaging client. Riot uses the open source matrix protocol. Now, Matrix is a federated protocol, much like SMTP, the email protocol, which means the user can choose which server to create their account on, and each Riot server can communicate with all the other Riot servers. That way, everyone can communicate with each other. And because Riot is open source, you can create your own server if you choose to. You don't have to choose who to put your trust into. Riot can be used straight from your web browser, but there's also a desktop app for most major operating systems and mobile devices. And it's also available on F-Droid if you've de-Googlefied your phone. As well as instant messaging, Riot is also capable of voice and video chat and video conferencing. And it also has end-to-end -end encryption. Although once you've enabled end-to-end -end encryption on a uh, chat room, you cannot disable it. Riot has lots of great features. Um, editing your chat room settings is a rather trivial task. You can even prevent uh, certain chat rooms from being able to communicate with other Riot servers. And as you see here, once I enable the encryption, I won't be able to disable this to the room. Setting up uh, roles and permissions is rather trivial as well. Now there are things called widgets and uh, bridges. So as you see, I can add these nice little widgets to integrate these tools into Riot. And Bridges allow for cross-communication between other chat services, such as IRC and uh, Slack. And there's also lots of uh, bots in here. And I'm sure there are third-party ones that you could also add if you set up your own server. So if you'd like to try Riot, you can go to riot.im and you can actually create an account there. If you have a Nextcloud server, then there's an app for it called Nextcloud Talk. I've talked about this previously on my Nextcloud video, but you can create chat rooms here and you can create share links and invite people to that chat room and they don't need to have an account on your Nextcloud server in order to chat with you. And you can password protect it as well as instant messaging. It has voice and video chat and there are apps for mobile devices and it's also available on F-Droid if you've de googled your phone. Another great thing about using Nextcloud Chat is it makes it rather trivial to share links to your files you have on your Nextcloud server. Another tool you can use is called Jitsi, which is an open source video conferencing tool. And it's multi-platform, works straight from your web browser, and there are apps for mobile devices, and it's on F-Droid if you have de-Googlefied your phone. If you'd like to try Jitsi, you can do so without creating an account by going to jitsi.org and click the Start a Call button. So, here you'll be able to enter in a room name, or you'll be able to create, use a randomly generated one. You'll just simply click on a Go, and then it'll start your video conference. If you're using it in your web browser, it'll ask for permission to use your webcam and uh, microphone. I'm going to change these to different ones since I'm using OBS, I don't want to mess up that. And here you'll see a share link. So you can either give them the URL 
or if they're using a mobile device, you just have to give them the room name and they would enter in the room name and they'll be able to join in. Now, as you saw from the share link, there's a dial in. So they can actually call using their mobile device if they're on the go and they'll be able to join in the video conference or just voice if they choose to. And you can password protect it also. So obviously this ha you can make phone calls from this as well. Um, I don't think you can from uh, the free one here on jitsi.org, but if you set up your own server, it has SIP integration. So you can connect it to a PBX such as Asterix. I've done so before, like last year or the year before, and it actually works really well. You can make you can call someone who's on the go and just add them to your video conference that way. So yeah, Jitsi is a really great tool and I'd recommend trying it sometime. You don't need an account, so there's no harm in it. Another great piece of software I recommend is Mumble. Now Mumble's an open source voice over P client intended for gaming. You don't have to use it for gaming, but that's what it was designed for. It has push to talk and lots of other great features. Setting up uh, permissions and roles is rather trivial. You can do it straight from the Mumble client itself. Now the server for Mumble is called Murmur and it's also open source. And it's really trivial to get a Murmur server going and set up. There are clients for Windows, Mac and Linux and it has overlays. So when you're full screen in a game, there'll be an overlay and you can see who's talking. It has key binds and to do all sorts of great things. And there's even an app for Android called Plummel, which is also available on Fdroid if you've degooglified your phone. These are great pieces of software and if you're a gamer, I'd recommend using these. Okay, let's talk about Signal. Signal's primarily for mobile. It's intended for instant me messaging, um, voice and video calls, and uses end-to-end -end encryption. Now it does use your phone number as your identifier, so it has to be linked to a phone number. There is an app for most major desktop operating systems, but you have to link that to your phone. So as well as instant messaging, as I mentioned, I can do voice and video calls. This is intended as a replacement, I think, for WhatsApp. Now, I've never used WhatsApp because I really hate Facebook, so I can't compare it because I haven't used it, but people that I know that have used both said that the feature parity is pretty good. Now, unfortunately, if you have de fired your phone, you will not find this app on FDroid. But if you go to the Signal website, they do have an APK file available for download, so you don't have to use Google Play. Okay, so that does it for our instant messaging, voice and video chat tools, which are secure and open source. And I'd like to thank you all for your support on Library. I've reached over a hundred subs, so yeah, thank you for enjoying my videos, and um, yeah, and if you're watching this on YouTube, mm, come over to library. Bye everyone.